All right. Well, thank you so much, Lisa, for joining us today. I was hoping that you could just introduce yourself to everyone. Um, tell us a little bit about your job title, what agency you're affiliated with, um, if you've ever had any experience um, collaborating with the CESU or the LTER network, and just how long you've been working for an agency in general. Well, thanks so much for having me. My name is Lisa Carp Baron. I'm a biologist with the US Army Corps of Engineers working on the Everglades Recover Project. And I've been with the federal government almost 10 years in a few weeks. And um, I've been with a few different agencies. During that time, I've had the opportunity to work with CESUs when in a previous position, I was a research coordinator and I worked a lot with the CSUs to um, bring on board research projects. So through agreements. Uh, I, have, I, do, I have not had any direct experience with LTERs, though I've worked in a number of locations where they existed. Awesome, that's great. So I um, asked you to kind of reflect on the theme, the day in the life. So when working for um, the Army Corps and other federal agencies, what have the working conditions been like? So because my position now is more of the professional level, um, it's, it's generally been working on a small team, uh, which I really enjoy. And, um, and then also working with a lot of external partners, whether that's through other agencies, um, and universities and academia, et cetera. Um, the conditions, the physical conditions themselves are um, currently a mix of office and telework, which I also appreciate the benefit of. Additionally, being at a professional level, it's kind of assumed that you're gonna have a little more autonomy and a little more, um, because you're generally leading some sort of effort. So for this mm -hmm. current position, I'm leading the Southwest Florida region for the Army Corps as part of the recovery team. And so uh, it's nice to have that autonomy as you're working through trying to accomplish your tasks. And I find that in the current position I have, the leadership is extremely supportive um, and it allows me to be very effective in my job. And also it allows the job itself is very challenging because we're working with a number of different partners, which means a lot of mm -hmm. different people and personalities. So that always brings challenges as well. Um, mm -hmm. But the team is really supportive as well to provide input and really just, you know, we all help each other to try and make things as smooth as possible. That's awesome. That's great to hear you have a good leadership team and people backing you um, with everything that you're doing. And so you talked a lot about um, your teamwork that you're involved in. So how much paper versus people work um, do you do? So it's it's an interesting question because when I first started thinking about this, it's like, oh, well, it's a lot of desk work. It's um, It's a lot of working on the computer, it's a lot of office work. I'm not in the field anymore, though I did do that at a certain point and I loved it. Mm -hmm. But um, on the professional level, you're more in the office. And But because I'm constantly interacting with different partners, mm -hmm. because Recover works with a number of different agencies, um, even though it might be a lot of paperwork or digital paperwork, it's all people related. So it could be, planning for a meeting, you know, putting together agendas, things like that. So I would say that those type of tasks are greater than the physical interaction with people. But during the, those tasks, you're always thinking about the people and how to make things more effective, how to make the meeting efficient, how to facilitate mm -hmm. working with the personalities that you have on that team, because we have a lot of different teams that we work with and really just trying to make things as efficient and effective as possible, utilizing those resources, the biggest of which are the people. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, um, Lisa, for joining us for our little interview, and we will see you back at the full career panel soon. So thank you so Thanks much. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.